Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin Roll International Coin Channel. Today it's the 1964 Kennedy half. We have a few of them right here. This is the one and only year they made the circulating Kennedy halves in 90% silver. After 1964, they went down to a 40% silver and then they went down to the copper nickel clad copper coins. This coin has President Kennedy facing to the left. President Kennedy was our 35th president. He was assassinated while he was president in 1963. So in 1964, the year after his death, the United States Mint came out with the first Kennedy half dollars. It was a little bit of a rush job. These were 90% silver, 10% copper. The Kennedy half replaced the Franklin half. And this is the Franklin half from 1963, the year before the first Kennedy half. And this is actually the half dollar that was in place when Kennedy was in office with Ben Franklin on the front looking to the right. The mint mark is on the back above the bell and you can see this is a Denver mint mark. On the Kennedy halves, the mint mark is on the back and it would be right here underneath the olive branch. United States of America around the top, half dollar at the bottom, E Pluribus Unum in this banner that goes across there. You see the E Pluribus Unum. The eagle is holding the end of the banner in its beak. You see that there's nine stars above the banner, four stars below, that's 13 for the original 13 states. There are 50 stars around the outside of this. President Kennedy was the first president to enter office while there were 50 states. And you can remember that Alaska and Hawaii came in in 1959. Also on the back, you can see an F and a G down here, and that's for Frank Gasparro, who is the engraver of the back of this coin, right under the talon where the eagle has the arrows. And you can see this is a shielded eagle. If we flip it back over to the front, there are initials on the front also. And there's an entwined G and an R down here, and that's for Gilroy Roberts. G going this way, R going that way. Because they were in such a rush to get these Kennedy halves out, they had such a short period of time, they kept making these Kennedy halves in 1964, 1965, and 1966. So if you get a Kennedy half that has the year 1964 on it, it could be from any of those three years. They made them at the Philadelphia Mint, which is this one here with no mint mark. They made them at the Denver Mint, which would have a D. And they also made some proof coins at the Philadelphia Mint, and those would have a quite different shine on them. The Philadelphia Mint for general circulating coins, they made 273 million of these Kennedy halves, 88 million in 1964, 144 million in 1965, and 42 million in 1966. They have one of these so far that they've found that's a Mint State 69. It's worth $15,000. They've also found two double die obverse varieties, and the highest of those are $525 and $700. At the Denver Mint, which would have the D back here, and it'd be right there. We don't have a Denver Mint one here today. They made $156 million, 114 million for 1964, 42 million in 1965, and they found a Denver Mint State 68 that's worth $26,500. And then if you look at the proof coins, and the proof coins will look something like this, hopefully a little bit brighter than this, they made 3.95 million, and they found 123 so far at a proof 69 deep cameo. Those are worth 3,850. The next year, and that's this year, 1965, they changed the coin. But the 1965s, of course, most of them were made in 1966 because they were still making the 1964s. You can't really tell the difference that well here, but the 1965 coin is only 40% silver. So while the 1964 coin is worth nine or ten dollars in silver alone, the 1965 coin is worth a little over four dollars in silver. They made these 1965 coins in 65, 66, and 67 with no mint marks on any of them. And then in 68, they came back with the Kennedy halves with the mint mark on them. And those went until 1970 at 40% silver. 1971, they changed it all up. And this is a Denver mint from 1971. And you see they went to the copper in 1971. 
and here's the Denver Mint. In 1968, when they brought the mint marks back, they put them underneath the neck of President Kennedy. So you see, this is a Denver Mint, the first year of the clad Denver Mint coins. The Kennedy half just kept going along until 1975. 1975, they started making the bicentennial halves which said 1776 to 1976 on them, the 200th anniversary halves, and this is one of them. They made this bicentennial half both in a clad and a silver version. So the next silver after 1970 in the Kennedy halves was in, 19, was in 1976. They did start making silver coins again in 1992, but they made them as these proof coins. So this is a 2002 version of the silver mint set coins. And you can see the S there underneath President Kennedy. Even though this coin here looks incredible, it's probably only worth 10 or $12. Even if you got the 2002 Kennedy half graded, still only be talking about $30 or so, but they're beautiful to look at. And you can see these are back to the 90% silver. And when we look on the back of these coins, we can see that eagle just jumping right off the coin because of the different polish they use on proof coins. They still make the Kennedy halves. Here's a 2022 version. I have not got the 2023 version yet, but these halves can only be obtained by purchasing them through the U.S. Mint or through a dealer who's purchased them from the Mint. You can buy them in bags, you can buy them in rolls, you can get them in uncirculated Mint sets, and you can get them in proof sets, clad and proof sets silver. All right, that's all we have today for the 1964 Kennedy halves. Look for these halves out there. They made them in 90% silver, and this is the only year that they ever made a 90% silver circulating Kennedy half dollar.